Hi, Grade 10! For today, our topic is illustrating measures of position, quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. And it was based on Mathematics 10, Quarter 4, Module Number 1. Hi, Math Lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because Mathematics is fun! What I need to know. For our objectives, we have to illustrate the following measures of positions. Quartile, deciles, and percentiles. What's new? In real life, set of data do not tell the whole story. If we only refer to the raw data we have on hand, we will never know in which direction this data will lead to in the future. For instance, if you are one of the 25 academic awardees in a class of 50 students, did you perform the best among all the students in your class? Would you reassure that you will finish the school year on top of the class? Or if you are engaged in an online business and you see the individual average sales of your products for the past years, would you conclude that the products that brought in a large sale is the best seller? What would you do with the other products that are not selling well? Studying measures of positions is very important in situations when we want to know the strongest, weakest, largest, smallest, top, or bottom values in a given large amount of data. When you have a large amount of data, you want to understand a certain part of that spread and make the necessary actions and decisions after. For today, I will illustrate the different measures of positions and what it says about the data you have. Further lesson after this video lesson will guide you when you do your research on how to properly interpret the results of your data gathering. What is it? Measures of position Quartiles, deciles, and percentiles Each one of us may be considered a statistician as we constantly compare ourselves to others whether it is test scores, height, weight, how fast we run, how many followers we have on social media. One of the best ways to compare these types of data is by the measures of position. A measure of position is a method by which the position that a particular data value has within a given data set can be identified. The descriptive measures which are used to locate the position of a values or scores in a distribution are quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. Quartiles are the score points which divide an ordered data into quarter. One quarter or 25% of the distribution are less than or equal to the first quartile or the lower quartile. Two quarters or 50% of the distribution are less than or equal to the second quartile or the middle quartile. Third quarters or 75% are less than or equal to the third quartile or the upper quartile. The lower quartile is less than the middle quartile and the middle quartile is less than the upper quartile. The middle quartile is also the median of distribution. Three quarters or 75% are less than or equal to third quartile or the upper quartile. Quartiles are illustrated by the figure below. We have 25%, 50%, 75% and 
first, let's identify the lower quartile. 25% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 1 quarter. Or 75% of the data has a value of greater than or equal to 1 quarter. Let's proceed to the middle quartile, or the median. 50% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 2 quarter. Or 50% of the data has the value of greater than or equal to 2 quarter. Lastly, we have the upper quartile. 75% of the data has a value of less than or equal to third quarter. Or 25% of the data has a value of greater than or equal to third quarter. Now let's try example number one. The following illustrates the score of 7 students in a short quiz given by their math teacher. Each quartile is illustrated and explained below. Here are the scores of the 7 students. 2, 3, 3, 5, 6, 6, and 7. Now, our 1 quarter or lower quartile is 25% of the scores are less than or equal to 3 or 75% of the scores are greater than or equal to 3 For our second quarter or middle quartile 50% of the scores are less than or equal to 5 or 50% of the scores are greater than or equal to 5 Third quarter or upper quartile 75 of the scores are less than or equal to 6 or 25 of the scores are greater than or equal to 6 Example number 2 The number of boats in each fish farm in Hagone, Bulacan is shown in the table below What does each quartile illustrate? For our answer, our first quartile is 18 about 75% of fish farms in Hagono and Bulacan have at least 18 boats. Second quartile is 23. About 50% of fish farms in Hagono and Bulacan have at least 23 boats. Our third quartile is 26. About 25% of fish farms in Hagono and Bulacan have at least 26 boats. Now we can also say that in first quartile, about 25% of fish farms in Agone, Bulacan have at most 18 boats. In second quartile, about 50% of fish farms in Agone, Bulacan have at most 23 boats. Now in our third quartile, about 75% of fish farms in Agone, Bulacan have at most 26 boats. Example number 3 For the 100 meter dash, the third quartile for the time for finishing the race was 11.5 seconds. Describe the third quartile in this situation. For our answer, 25% of runners finish the race in 11.5 seconds or more, while 75% of runners finish the race in 11.5 seconds or less. A lower percentage is good, but finishing a race more quickly is desirable to win. Deciles Deciles are the nine values along the scale that divide the sets of data into 10 equal parts. The deciles are denoted as first deciles, second deciles, third deciles, fourth deciles, fifth deciles, sixth deciles, seventh deciles, 8 deciles and 9 deciles We can illustrate deciles in the same manner that quartiles were illustrated However, we will describe deciles using this figure First decile 10% of the data has a value of less than or equal to first decile Second decile 20% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 2nd decile 3rd decile 
30% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 3rd decile. 4th deciles 40% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 4th deciles. 5th deciles 50% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 5th deciles. 6th deciles 60% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 6 deciles. 7 deciles 70% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 7 deciles. 8 deciles 80% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 8 deciles. 9 deciles 90% of the data has a value of less than or equal to 9 deciles. Deciles are useful for exploring the spread of data set as they show the smallest as well as the largest values of the distribution. Deciles are often used in financial fields for statistical analysis. Example number one. This illustrates the sales in thousand of pesos of the 13 products sold by an online seller for the first quarter of the year. Our first deciles is 2. Our second deciles is 3. Second deciles means that 20% of the sales is equal to or less than 3,000 pesos. Our third decile is 4. Third decile means that 30% of the sales is equal to or less than 4,000 pesos. Fifth decile is 6. Fifth decile means that 50% of the sales is equal to or less than 6,000 pesos. Our sixth decile is 7. Sixth decile means that 60% of the sales is equal to or less than 7,000 pesos. Our 8 deciles is 8. 8 deciles means that 80% of the sales is equal to or less than 8,000 pesos. Example number 2. Miss Roberto gave an assessment to her students in mathematics. The 5.5 decile for the time it took to finish the test was 42 minutes. What does this mean? For our answer, 5.5 decile is in the 55% of the distribution. This means that 55% of the learners finish the test in 42 minutes or less. 45% of the students finish the test in 42 minutes or more. Example number 3 During the school's annual health check for students, Kim found out from her BMI that she is in the 9th decile in height but in the 3rd decile in weight. What does this data tell Kim? For our answer, according to the data, compared with other students her age, Kim is taller than 90% of them and weight more than only 30% of them. We can also conclude that Kim is taller and thinner compared with most of the students in her school. Percentiles Percentiles are used for comparing values of mostly very large populations. For this reason, most schools use percentiles extensively. For instance, percentiles are used in ranking students based on their scores in the entrance exam of certain universities and community college programs. Percentiles are also used in ranking job applicants for certain position in the company. The percentiles are the values on a scale of 100 that indicates the percent of a distribution that is equal or below it. The percentiles are the 99 score points which divide a distribution into 100 equal parts so that each part represents the data set. It is used to characterize values according to the percentage below them. For example, the first percentile separates the lowest 1%
from the other 99%. The second percentile separates the lowest 2% from the other 98% and so on. Let us illustrate percentiles and compare it with that of quartiles and deciles by using the figure below. Now here are the quartiles divided into four equal parts. Now here are the deciles divided into 10 equal parts and the percentiles divided into 100 equal parts. A percentile is a comparison score between a particular score and the other scores of the rest of the group. It shows the percentage of scores that a particular score surpassed. For example, if you score 75 points on a test and is ranked in the 85th percentile, it means that the score 75 is higher than 85% of the scores of all those who took the test. Now let's have example number 1. Your height is 1.5 meters and you are the 4th tallest in a group of 20. Use percentile to explain what it means. If you are the 4th tallest in a group of 20, it means that 80% of the people are shorter than you. This also means that your height of 1.5 meters is in the 80th percentile height in that group. Example number 2 On a 20-item mathematics test, the 70th percentile for number of correct answers was 16. Describe the 70th percentile in this situation. Was it a good result? For our answer, this means that 70% of the students answer 16 or fewer questions correctly. It is also means that 30% of the students answer 16 or more questions correctly. No, if 16 belongs to a lower percentile, then it would be a good result since it would assure us that more students obtain scores that are greater than or equal to 16. Example number 3 During the Bulacan Provincial Meet, the 40th percentile for point score in a basketball game by a player is 8 points. What is the meaning of this 40th percentiles? For our answer, this means that 40% of the basketball players scored 8 points or fewer. It also means that 60% of the basketball players scored 8 points or more. References I hope that you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!